This is the most shittiest cut craze I've ever seen in my fucking life. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today, I will be doing three eye looks using the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. So if you guys follow makeup, you would be aware that how much this product is out of stock. This is so difficult to get. Once it is in stock, like in less than 24 hours, this just vanishes it goes out of stock immediately and uh, these are uh, available on nika on hokmakeup.com as well as on amazon i picked mine from hokmakeup.com now if you guys uh, i mean you would have seen bajillion swatches and everything so i'm not going to dwell too much into it i'll just cover is the price point which is 499 indian rupees as well as you get 10 shades for this palette so before we can move into the eye looks, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. How cute are these? And this is so fitting. One is almost like popping out, but yeah, that's okay. So as you guys can see, the base makeup has been completed except for the eyes and uh, right now for the first step, I'm going to go in with a concealer just to prime my lids. Now I'm going to go with a e, uh, e. So now I'm going to set my eyes using a translucent powder. I'm just going to use is the RCMA No Color Powder. This is amazing just for that purpose. So for the first look, I'm going to first go with shade number 10, this warm transition shade right here and take it in a nice buffing brush, tap, tap, tap. Uh, next, I'm going to go with this orange shade right here. It is numbered six. So coat it well. Tap, tap, tap. Now I'm going to concentrate only on the outer and the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to be cutting the crease right in the middle for a halo white. Okay, so I just took some concealer and going to create a halo white. This is the most shittiest cut craze I've ever seen in my fucking life. So now I'm going to take a, a flat brush like this and uh, use some setting spray. And then go over with this shade number three, this one. Coat it nicely and apply it where you added the concealer. This applies well using your hands. This is the most shittiest cut crease ever or halo cut crease ever, but we're gonna fix it. So I'm gonna go over with this orangey shade, number six, and just try to 
concentrate on the edges. Okay, now I'm going to mix this transition shade as well as this shade. I'm just using the same shade just to intensify the yellow. So for my brow bone, I'm gonna go again with the same shade right here. Now for the lower lashes, I'm going to be mixing this burnt orange and this shade number 10, the transition shade. Now let me just put in some eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be right back. I have applied the eyeliner, I have popped my lashes and added the kajal as well. Now just a little bit of a pop of a color, I'm going to go back with the same shade over here and just put it on my inner corner of the eye just for a quick pop. And there you have it, this is the finished first look. Uh, this is more of a, a little bit of a rose gold gold kind of a look So here you go Now we're gonna move on to the second eye look. So this is going to be like a burgundy, full on matte burgundy look. First, as usual, gonna take my concealer and directly prime my eyelids. And to, just to set the eyes, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. You could actually use like any kind of a powder, any kind of a translucent powder, that would be great. Now we're going to move on to this burnt orange shade right here. That I think is number six if I'm not wrong. And now I'm going to go with this burgundy shade right here, this purple shade. I did wet the brush a little bit. So let's see how it goes. And now I have laid the base of the same shade with a wet brush. I'm just going to go with a pencil brush just to intensify the same thing. This is not wet. This is just so that I can pack it in. Because this shade is a little bit hard to work with out of all of them. So the trick over here is to use a wet brush first and go over that burgundy shade. Just set it with that color and then go with a defined pencil brush and then just concentrate on the area. That's it. And now just to blend everything out, I'm going to use this shade again. Now 
Now for the lower lashes, I'm going to go back with the same purple burgundy shade. And I'm going to use this shimmery shade for the inner corners again. I look so gothic. <laughs> okay, now quickly I'm gonna finish my eyeliner, pop some lashes and be right back. So I have popped my lashes, put on some eyeliner as well as some kajal and this is the finished look. So now for the last look, I want to do something a bit more brownish. So as always, going to set the base, you know, the drill with that. That sounds like many a new way. Now with the fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the first transition shade. It is named as one and tap the excess. Now I'm just going to go with this dark brown shade over here and intensify the crease. Now I'm going to take a nice dense pencil brush and use the same shade and pack it take a nice uh, packing brush like this and uh, wet it and take this shade right here which is numbered as number five So I did not cut the crease because I wanted the brown underneath, you know, just to darken it up a bit. But you could also cut the crease, but as you saw earlier, I suck at it. So I just went for this and I still love it. Now I'm just going to go back with the brown shade. Perfect. Just to clean up the edges a bit. So this is another beautiful look, so I'll just put on some the usual, the eyeliner, the lashes as well as the kajal and I'll be right back. Now I totally forgot about the lower lashes, so I'm going to go back with this brown shade. Oh, here we go. So this is the finished look, I apply the eyeliner, the lashes, the kajal and it is done. So here you go. So that is it for today's video you guys i hope it was really helpful if it was do not forget to smash that subscribe button click on the like and comment down below if you have any questions i'll reply back to you also do not forget to follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next video take care bye It is satisfying, but it is so sad. The damage is so far.